guys, welcome to Energetic Fun Healing. <laughs> I am changing the name. I am going to Energetic Fun Healing and I'm going to put in, you know, medical medium and a lot of my taglines on the top. I'm figuring out some more how this YouTube thing is working and I just don't want to be attached to his name. I'm just energetically like have to be my own being and I still will talk about the medical medium in every single video and still on his protocol. I'm just going to be an individual and um, earn this outright is how I feel. So the name is changing, but I want it to be energetic. I want it to be fun. I want it to be a healing space. I want it to be a fun healing space. You know, some videos are so freaking depressing um, that it's not fun. I'm like, ah, I can't do this. I got to be different. So I hope that y'all get some energy from that. And I feel like my teeth are a little bit blue. Sorry, I've been having my smoothie, but now that I'm showing you my smoothie, we'll talk about that for a minute. Um, I changed from this size smoothie to this size smoothie because it's really easy and fast to get it down for some reason. It makes things more convenient. I really do love that smoothie um, size. And so I, I can space it out almost like my adrenal stuff and, and have it throughout the day. And I'll have, I have a much bigger lunch box now because I have all these jars, but it works better. So I wanted to show you all that. And I wanted to also, the main thing is, um, tell you we made it through Thanksgiving. Thank God. Um, that's not easy for me. I don't know how it is for you. I have too much energy, too many like family members and I don't eat like them. I don't do things like they do. I don't even do things like my husband does. And so it's just sometimes a little bit more challenging with all that energy coming at me. So we made it. We made it. Did I, was I perfect? No, but I was proficient. And I like being proficient. And like when I was really getting hit with some, some negative stuff before Thanksgiving even got there, I was on cue with my food and I like being proficient. And so please give yourself a round of applause and yay we did it and a happy happy um because you got through it so that's good so I want to come and share my experience with the angels and some things that are happening that might be going on with y'all and if you're as impatient as and frustrated as I can be with some things some healing things then you will understand this completely so I talked to the angel of insight I talked to the angel of habit I talked to the angel of addiction you know I'm trying to heal I want to heal I want to eat this way forever I want to just go ahead and be in that place and it doesn't happen. <laughs> so, and then when it's, that's when the patience or lack thereof comes in. And so what I wanted to tell you that's happening now is I don't feel like I have so many addictions coming up. I'm not being um, bumped with all these like food cravings and all this stuff happening with food as much as not bothering me as much. And so I don't want you to think the angels aren't there and they're not working because I, I feel like, and I don't know if this is true, but this is what I feel like happens. I feel like they come in and they work and they do things to fix things for us, to get, get us there and that, and then they leave. They have to go help other people. And because it's not instantaneous, we feel like they weren't there and it didn't work. But that's not really true because usually I feel something when I call upon them at that moment, something's happening. And so, but I usually still have the craving for the food or this or that. And, and something happens and I can either work through it or I have the food. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm human. It's going to happen. But then what I've noticed is the past few weeks... I haven't had these big cravings. I have, I've had stress. Jeez Louise, I've had some stress. But I have not had, and I'm an emotional eater, but I have not had the stress that links me to eating these foods as much. And like I've been able to stay on course. And so I think, I feel like they come in, they heal, they give us what they can and what we need at that moment. And then it's we start to rebuild and our muscle memory changes. And, and our habits and addictions start to slowly go away and things start to change. And I feel like that's what's happening. 
And I want y'all to just have faith in that. So ask the angel of faith that, 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 you know, they have come in, these angels have come in and helped you with your stuff. And even if it's not food related, if it's something else, ask for help there because it still will affect your food. Um, it still is going to affect your energy. So ask for help with anything you can with these angels. They will ha bring you help and bring you guidance. And if they don't know, they'll bring someone else. I promise you, they are there to help. And if you really don't know who to ask, you call in the unknown angels, whether it's day or night. You call in as many unknown angels as you can, as you need to. Whatever, 20, 25,000, it doesn't matter. They will come in and help you. And they will light it up for you. And um, it's funny because that must be what they're doing now because I must have caught in too many. I'm not sure. But it's just like bright and overwhelming, it seems like, from my vantage point. So I hope it shows through the video. Um, and I also wanted to tell you, because I'm looking at my notes and stuff, that that now instead of the angel of habit and the angel of addiction and the angel of insight and all this about food, you know, I'm not calling upon them as much anymore. I feel like for some reason at this point, they've done a really good job. And if I need them in the future, I will definitely call upon them for sure. I'm not quitting by no means. But now for some reason, things are changing and I'm calling on the angel of trust and the angel of faith and the angel of clarity. You know, I'm, I'm asking for things and I want some clarification with it. And I want some like good stuff to come my way. And, and in this shift and things that are happening. So... I want you to remember your angels. You know, we have little miracles. And there are some people that I'm seeing on, on Facebook. And they are perfect at this diet. I mean, they don't have any no foods. And they're just doing great. And they're just be bopping along. And they're in some, like, pain. And I want you to know that miracles can happen. And that these angels can help. And things can come in. And your pain can go away. And you can just heal and feel the healing and feel the bright light. And you can even imagine bright light where your pain is. I don't even know where that's coming from. But take it. Um, and you can imagine bright light from like coming into your pain. And you could say, you could place your hands on where you hurt and say light, light, light. And bring that light in and, and, and love yourself and love your body. And know your body is healing. And you can say F off to like the Epstein Barr virus and the Streptococcus and the Shingles virus and whatever else that even if you don't even know what it is, just whatever you are, I'm just gonna like be mad at you, but I'm gonna love my body. And and ask for those angels and stuff to come in because y'all are some healing beings. And y'all are some powerful people and you are doing things that I want to do so badly and be there. And like I am on my way there and I'm going to be right there with y'all. And we're just going to do all this stuff together and we're going to heal and things are going to get better. And it is just going to be amazing. And so um, just know that miracles can happen with our bodies. We are blessed it doesn't have to happen for someone else. We can wish it for someone else, but we can also wish it for ourselves. And you just have to know that because I ask for help all the time. I ask for help for other people. I ask for help for myself all the time. So just know that and you did great. The holidays are going to be easy and fun and just awesome. And so I love you guys. Send me some comments. Ask me questions. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye from Energetic Fun Healing.